Somebody who is excited to be here tonight, shout a big hallelujah. It can be louder. Shout a louder hallelujah. Please let us pray. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For His mercies endure forever. Amen. For His mercies endure forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all adoration. Thank you for the way you have been blessing us in the beginning of this year. Thank you, Father, because you have brought us to a new month. Thank you for your blessings upon us. Thank you for what you did yesterday. Thank you for what you will do today. Thank you for the glory ahead. Thank you for the assurance of your presence. Thank you because you love us so much that you have gathered us together to bless us. Daddy, we say thank you. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. This time, oh God, we ask that, Lord, you will speak to us. You will nourish us in your word. You will empower your word in our hearts. And you will take us to the new level. And everyone saying amen, we experience your fire. So shall it be, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody say louder, amen. amen. Let that amen be fire branded. Amen. Raise your hands and shout hallelujah. I want to sincerely and profoundly appreciate my dad and my mom for this opportunity given to me to stand on this podium to bring the word of life to the people of God. It is my prayer that the moment that the Lord will continue to lift you high, continue to increase you, continue to multiply you, and you go from glory to glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Please say a better amen. Tonight is for somebody, and that fellow is going home carrying fire. I say you are going home carrying fire in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in partnership with fire, in partnership with fire. What is fire? By definition, fire is the phenomenon of combustion manifested in light flame, and eat. So wherever you see fire, you will see light. You will see flame. You will see it. Somebody will begin to shine from today. Not only that, by characteristics, fire does not need any introduction. It introduces himself. Why? Because even if you close your eyes and you touch the fire, you don't need anybody to tell you that that is fire. It introduces himself. I pray for someone you will get the fire today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And fire is that element also that gives light anywhere. When God said, let there be light and there was light, 
Because he himself is the consuming fire. When he said, let there be light, it's not as if it's coming from somewhere. It came from him. Wherever the light is, wherever the fire is, light will come forth. Let there be light, and there was light. There can be light where there is no fire. But then, I've just told you what is fire. Then who is the fire? Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. Hebrews 12, 29. The Bible says, our God, our God, for our God is a consuming fire. It's a consuming fire. Let somebody shout fire. That is too low. Shout fire. Shout it as if it's falling upon you now. Shout fire. You see, we are in for a special time tonight. When you hear that topic, you know something is going on in the spiritual realm. So who is the fire? Our God is the consuming fire. So when you talk about partnership, it is the coming together of one or more persons in contractual terms for a purpose. They come together on particular times, for a particular purpose. So when you are saying in partnership with God, it is that we are coming together with God. We have an agreement with God for a particular purpose. So that is partnership with the Almighty God and partnership with fire. So if God is the fire, and the Bible says in the book of John, Chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible said that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Meaning what? Even the Lord Jesus is the fire. That is God. He is the God. He is the Lord. He is the fire. And the Bible says on the day of, the, of Pentecost, fire fell when Holy Ghost came. So we have a Father that is a consuming fire. Now, we are now talking about a partnership with the fire. John chapter 15, verse 5. John 15, verse 5. I am divine and ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me, you can do nothing. Meaning what? In this kingdom where we are, there is nothing you can achieve except you are in partnership with the fire. Except you are in partnership with the fire. And so you cannot assume that you are in partnership. You have to be sure. This is not an issue of assumption. It's an issue of our assurance. You must be sure that you are in partnership with him. He said, for without me, you can do nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can amount to nothing in the kingdom. You can achieve nothing in the kingdom. It doesn't matter how much you pray, how much you fast. If you are not in partnership, you can get nothing out of it. Somebody is here, you will never labor in vain. And so when you are partnering with God, definitely is the senior partner. And why you are the partner? Because he must be in the control of all. He must be in charge of all. And so he wants to take control so that he can help you. Now, what do we benefit when we partner with the fire? Number one is that he will practically turn you to flaming fire. That's what the Bible says in Psalm 104, verse 4. Psalm 104, verse 4. The Bible says he has made his angel spirit. And then his ministers, he made them flaming fire. Flaming fire. Not just an ordinary fire. Flaming fire. And who is the minister of God? Whosoever that believes in him and talks about him. He's not talking about title. He's talking about somebody who is in partnership with him. Somebody who is doing his will. Somebody who is running errand on his behalf. 
he will turn you to fire. I think that is the biggest thing that God can do for anybody. He turns you to fire. It changes your identity. It changes everything about you. And you know what? When that is done, what you are looking for in life will begin to look for you. In Jeremiah 5 verse 14, Jeremiah 5 verse 14, when you are in partnership and he has turned you to fire, what will happen? He said, I will make my word in your mouth. I will make it fire. I will make the people, the problem, the affliction, I will make them wood. And as you speak, they will be consumed. Somebody shout fire. It can be louder. Shout fire. You know what God is saying? He said, the word that you are speaking out, when you are in partnership with him, they will carry fire. They will carry fire. He sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Meaning what? The word of God in your mouth is fire. When it gets in contact with anything, it burns it. It destroys it. When it gets in contact with barrenness, it burns it. With affliction, it burns it. With trouble, it burns it. So you have gotten to assess the provision of God for your life in this kingdom for you to enjoy the kingdom. And I pray for you, you will enjoy the benefit of this kingdom. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, your word will carry fire. In 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 1 to 14, 2 Kings 1, 1 to 14, there's this story of, the, of Elijah. <laughs> A king woke up one day and said, I just want to get rid of this man. Go and arrest him and bring him here. And he sent soldiers there, 51, 50 and a captain. And when they got there, they looked at him and said, man of God, Come down. Elijah was irritated because they called him man of God. Man in partnership with fire. And you can mention man of God with your mouth. Somebody in partnership with fire. And you said as you come down, if they didn't teach you from, from whom, I will teach you a lesson. But you will not be the one to recount. He said, then, if I be a man of God, if I'm in partnership with the fire, let the fire fall. And fire fell and roasted them. Fifty-one ashes right there. Another group came, saw the ashes, and their ascent he didn't tell them anything. And they said, man of God, come down. He said, you mean you can be this so foolish? You saw what had happened? If I be the man of God, let fire fall. And fire fell. They were roasted. The third group came. Summer, summer. The one that led them seemed to have little sense. He said, man of God, you are wonderful. You are powerful. You are the best. Who, who is it that want to arrest you? If not for the uniform, I won't be here. It's the king that said, I should come and get you. You know I like you. I love you. You are a very wonderful man of God. He just said, I should come and tell you to come, but how will I say it? I stand upon this holy altar. Anything threatening your destiny will not survive tonight in the mighty name of the Lord. Somebody shout fire! Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You have been intimidated enough. You have been oppressed enough. This is the time to set free. This is your night. If I be a child of God, if I be a child of God, barrenness, what are you looking for? Sickness, what are you looking for? If I be a child of God in partnership with fire, demon, what are you looking for? Somebody shout fire! Oh God. When you are in partnership with fire, your face will carry fire. When you appear, demon disappears. 
they disappear. They find their way. You see, fire <laughs> passes fire. The fire you carry is a consuming fire. And when demon sees that fire, it doesn't need anyone to say go. It shall disappear. Not only that, your name will carry fire. Hallelujah. In Acts 19, 13 to 17, Acts 19, 13 to 17, the Bible says some people, some funny people, gathered together and took someone who had demon and said, in the name of Jesus, the poor preaches, go out. And demon looked at them. <laughs> the man laughed. He said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But you, I will teach you a lesson. By the time he finished with them, the Bible said they were cast out in naked, disgraced, because demon didn't know them. He said, Jesus, I know. But I know also Paul, who is in partnership with Jesus. Partnership with fire. When you are in partnership with fire, Jesus, Jesus will ensure that your name carries fire. And if anybody carrying demon or any power goes anywhere and mention your name there for evil, what will happen? I can't hear you. Somebody is not, is not, is not saying it. What will happen right there? Shout fire and let God hear you. This fire will preserve you. Hallelujah. In Psalm 105 and verse 15, Psalm 105 and verse 15, he said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet what? Do my prophet no harm. Touch not my anointed. Who is the anointed? Anointed the one that is set apart for God in partnership with God. Never touch my partner. It is not a decree. It's just an advice. If you like, touch him. You will be roasted. I said, evil will be roasted. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Look at Psalm 89. Psalm 89, verse 20 to 23. Psalm 89, verse 20 to 23. I want to read this to you. I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established, and my arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy, the enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of the wicked afflict him. Somebody is here, you will never be afflicted again. And I will beat down his foes. I will fight his enemies. And I will plague them that hate him. Thank God for those who said amen. No. You say, you don't need to hate people who hate you. Jesus Christ said, pray for them. Why? Because if you hate them, you don't need to. God said, if they hate someone who is in partnership with him, he will plague them. He will plague those who hate you. And that also tells you one thing. You must not hate anybody. You must not eat anyone who carries the anointing, who is in partnership with the Lord. I pray for someone here, before you leave here today, you will carry the fire. And then when you are in partnership with God, you can do what you cannot do with your ability. You will lay hands on the sick and it shall be healed. You can do that with a natural strength. It's because you are in partnership with him. Moses, stretch forth your hands into the sea, and the sea parted. It was not an ordinary hand. It was not an ordinary rod. It was the hand and the rod that had encountered fire that parted the Red Sea. In partnership with the fire. In partnership with the fire. In the book of Genesis 14, 15 to 21. Now, how do I partner with the fire? Number one, agree with the fire. 
Tell your neighbor, agree with the fire. Amos 3, 3 says, Can two walk together except they agree? You want to get all these benefits. You must agree with God. You must be in agreement. When he says it, you do it. No argument. Don't fornicate. No argument. You don't tell him, my body can stop. I can't just hold it, Lord. You must understand. Don't steal. It's don't steal. Agree. You don't tell him, but you know I have something I have to spend on. You begin to argue. God is looking for people who will work with him, but will be in agreement. Abraham, take your only son and go and sacrifice him. The Bible said he, he woke up early in the morning. No question, no argument. No argument. No argument. Don't tell lies. Don't make excuses and say, my, my own lie is not a dark one. It's, it's not a black one. It's a white one. I only lie to cover my integrity. Lie is lie. You are in partnership. You are in partnership with fire. You don't do You don't disobey him. You don't. You don't. There are some divine instructions that you cannot say no to. Pay your tithe. Don't argue. Uh, it is the Old Testament. That is argument. That is argument. Put a fellowship in your house. Lord, you know, thieves and robbers will come in. Horses are prepared for the days of the battle, but safety is of the law. Safety is of the law. Go into the bush, go into villages and evangelize. You say, Lord, but you know, the kidnappers are right there. The Bible says, whosoever, whosoever will save his life will lose it. And anyone that will lose his life will find it, particularly when you lose it for his own sake. Matthew 16, verse 24, verse 25. Matthew 16, verse 25. Don't argue with God. Pursue vision 20, 32. Go and win souls. No argument. Go and win souls. No argument. Stop arguing. Tell your neighbor, stop that argument. Tell the fellow again, stop that argument. Number two. Be fully engaged in the great commission. The only goal of partnership with God is great commission. The Bible says in Matthew 28, verse 19 to 20, Matthew 28, 19 to 20, it said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. You baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything that I've commanded. And then I will remain in partnership with you to the end of the earth. Go forth. You are in the kingdom for the sake of somebody out there. Great commission. That is your assignment. No replacement for it. And you have gotten to do it. You don't do it, you lose. You do it, you gain. Jesus Christ said in John 4 verse 36, John 4, verse 36, he said, He that repeat, receiveth wages. When you win so, he said, I will personally pay you. I will give you wages. And if God is the one that will pay your wages, you can imagine what will happen. Simon Peter, follow me, and I will make you official of man. He followed him. Today, we are still talking about Simon Peter. Because he followed him to win souls. You can't just sit down in the kingdom. You are an asset. You are not a liability. Hallelujah. You are an asset and not a liability. Whatever you are looking for, you can get everything by winning souls. Everything. 
Luke 22, verse 35. Luke 22, verse 35. The Bible says, Jesus Christ called his disciples. He said, when I sent you out, and I told you not to carry money, I told you don't carry pots, don't carry anything. They do lack anything. And they said nothing. He said nothing. They said nothing. They said nothing. Whatever you are looking for, please be committed to this gospel. You are waiting for God, but God is waiting for you. Many of us are waiting for God. I'm waiting. One day God will do it. And God is saying, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you to do the part of the contract. According to John chapter 15, verse 16. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. That you will go forth, you will bring fruit, your fruit will remain. Then my own part, you pray, you ask for anything in my name. The Father will give it to you. And so, you have been praying. And say, I'm waiting. And God is saying, I'm just waiting for you to go and win souls. And then I will do my part. Go out there and do something. Go out there and do something. 2032 will come, you will still be alive. And your fruit must be there. We will reach our goal. We will get there. In the mighty name of the Lord. And every one of you saying amen, you will be part of it. I didn't hear a louder amen. I said you will be part of it. Go and get involved. Daddy said, everybody, every member of this church, at least you must win one soul in one month. That's what we call operation one, one, one. What are you doing in a month that you cannot win a soul? And you want the heaven to open over you. Do something now. It is, your, it is your time to shine. This is your moment. You have been hearing of it. It's an opportunity for you to move to the next level. For God to solve all your problems. Forget about your problems. Go and do what he said you should do and see what he will do in your life. When I sent you out, did you lack anything? He said nothing. Nothing. I prophesy to someone here, you will never lack anything. <laughs> After tonight, you will carry fire. And you will never lack anything. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go and win souls. Anywhere you are, go and win souls. And when you are going, don't listen to the distractors. Anywhere they are, they can talk about us. They just want to stop us, but they can't stop us. We are going forward from glory to glory. This vision will be accomplished. The heaven over us has opened. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Partner with God to win souls. Partner with God to win souls. Partner with God to win souls. And let God do what he has decided to do in your life. It's more than enough to do it. He had done it in the time past, and he will do it again. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy to somebody saying, Amen, it is your time. I say, it is your time. Let me tell your neighbors to the right and to the left, partner with God to win souls. I can hear you, partner with God to win souls. Partner with the fire to win souls. Hallelujah. Your time has finally come. Your glory has arrived in the mighty name of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord. Somebody is here today, you are carrying fire home. Wow, I said you are carrying fire home. Anything that will not allow you to partner with God shall be burnt with fire right here. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Arise and shine, for your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is what? Has come upon you. Isaiah 60 and verse 1. And the Bible said that glory that they are talking about is a consuming fire. According to the book of According to the book of Exodus, the Bible says in Exodus 24, if you look at verse 35, the Bible says on that day, at the top of Mount Sinai, the glory of the Lord came down and it was like a consuming fire. Everybody saw it. So when fire comes, light comes, and then you begin to shine. 
May I announce to you, your fire has come. And now your light has arrived. And when you live here tonight, you go and cast out demons. You go and demonstrate the fire. We will pursue the darkness everywhere. From village to village, from town to town, from city to city. No demon must be able to stand us. Our time has finally come. Anyone that believes in the Lord, the Bible says, you will do this great work. Once you are in partnership with him, miracles will continue to happen through us. If you believe in the fire, rise upon your feet and shout fire. Come on, shout fire. I can hear you. Shout fire. Let the devil hear you. Say fire. Can you lift up your right hand and pray this prayer? You are going to do a deliverance for yourself. And please pray it with all your heart. Lift your voice and say, Father. Loud and clear. Say, Father. You are the consuming fire. Anything and everything. Inside me or outside. Known or unknown. That will not allow me to partner with you. Let it cast fire right now. Pray that prayer. Every appetite for sin. Appetite for iniquity. Appetite for sin. Every unbelief. Every fear. Every spirit of disobedience. Cast fire right now. Anything in me. That will not allow me to partner with God. Brother, pray that prayer. Enough is enough. You have been suffering enough because you could not partner. And you have been waiting for the day you will partner. Anything that has been resisting you from partnering with God. Anything that does not allow you to go out and do His will. Father, let it cast fire right now. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Let God hear your amen. That fellow saying amen, whatever that is not of God in your life, that is resisting partnership with God, before this night is over, they will cast fire. Uh, they will cast fire. After tonight, anywhere you go, you will shine for Jesus. In your boss, you will shine for Jesus. In your community, you will shine for Jesus. Anywhere you go, you will advertise Jesus Christ. And everyone saying amen, as you partake of this vision 2032, before 2032, you will not die. You will be alive to celebrate this victory. In the mighty name of the Lord, when we are celebrating, your fruit will be there. And as you are doing that, anything you ask, God will give to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Go and shine. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. A fire branded, amen. Shout fire three times.